All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our next lesson here. This is resistance in the south. This is for our unit reconstruction. So our objectives and standards. You will be able to understand how southerners look to prevent changes made during reconstruction. And you will be able to identify how the United States government tried to prevent fear and violence by groups in the South. And please take a moment there to look over our standards. Sorry about my crazy line there. Go ahead, take a moment there to read them, please. And our desired result. What did Southerners attempt to do to resist Reconstruction? What did Southerners attempt to do to resist Reconstruction? So resentment and anger. Many white Southerners were angry with the progress made during Reconstruction. Okay, sorry about my green check there or my yellow check there, a little crazy. Um, but they were angry because they were angry with African Americans gaining the right to vote, having land, having jobs, things like that. Um, many white Southerners, including many of them who were former soldiers who fought for the South during the Civil War, during the U.S. Civil War, um, they were angry with uh, the rights and uh, freedoms that African Americans had gained. Okay, so some of these people created secret organizations, and you may. Gosh, sorry about that crazy check mark again. Um, but you may have heard of some of some of these secret organizations. One of them is the Ku Klux Klan or the KKK. Um, unfortunately, some of um, these organizations are still around today, but they're not um, very well known anymore. Um, but they would attack and frighten African Americans and white supporters as well. Uh, members dressed up in white robes with hoods to intimidate African Americans and white supporters. I've kind of put a clip art picture of what uh, th they looked like. Uh, again, these were white hoods, not black hoods, um, but that's kind of what they kind of looked like. Um, and schools and churches uh, were burned and African Americans and white supporters were also attacked and sometimes murdered um, as well. So fighting back. Republicans and African Americans formed their own military groups to fight back against these organizations, and an African American group sent a letter to the United States government asking for help. So President Grant, who we've talked about and who you see here again, okay, President Grant, Ulysses S. Grant, and congressional Republicans were angry with terrorist groups like the KKK. All right. Congress passed three enforcement acts in 1870 and 1871. Uh, the first one made interfering with a citizen's right um, to vote. Sorry, that should say to vote. To vote a federal crime. Okay. Place federal uh, elections under the supervision of federal marshals. And Ku Klux Klan um, outlawed uh, the Ku Klux Klan Act outlawed the activities of the Klan. Okay. So Ku Klux Klan uh, law or act. Not quite sure what the specific writing is there, but the Ku Klux Klan Act or law outlawed the activities of the Klan. Now, while local authorities and the federal government took actions and arrested many Klan members, very few were actually found guilty and served prison time. So again, the government's going to take actions to try to prevent the KKK and things like that. Um, even today, they still take actions to prevent those things. Um, but again, at this time, they're not very successful at doing so. All right, so our closure. All right, what did southerners attempt to do to resist reconstruction so you want to be thinking about um secret organizations like the kkk what did they do what did they try to do to prevent um, african americans and their white supporters from continuing with reconstruction and things like that all right let me know of any questions or concerns i hope you have a great rest of your day or night and hope to talk to you all soon take care bye bye